The Adventures of the Falcon, starring Les Tremaine. <laughs> Is the Falcon speaking. Oh, Lucy. I'm awfully sorry, Angel, but I'm afraid I'll have to skip tonight. I have to check on a character who is handing his girl a fast line. Claims he'll make a big mark in the world. And maybe he will. Unless somebody rubs him up. Once again, the mutual broadcasting system brings you the adventures of the Falcon. The Falcon, as you know, is Michael Waring, freelance detective who's always ready with a hand for oppressed men and an eye for repressed women. So join him tonight when the Falcon learns... Murder is a bad bluff. It's early Monday evening in New York when the door of a small Fifth Avenue jewelry store opens and the clerk, alone in the store, turns to face a dapper young man. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Were you ever in love? Was I? <laughs> well, naturally, sir. I'm a married man. I dare say I love my wife. Well, if you dare say you don't, let's see the most expensive bracelet you have. Yes, sir. One moment. A bracelet to encircle her tiny Ida Down wrist. Ida Down? That's a rather strange image, if I may say so. You may. Hey, Master. Now, this bracelet. Beautiful, I'll take it. Now, let's see something in engagement. Yes, sir. Hey, what? Mm-hmm. Good, I'll take that too. Which one? The whole table. I beg your pardon? Oh, but these aren't the best you have. Let's see the really big stone. Oh, come on, hurry up. I... <laughs> Hiya. What's the matter? Did you ever see a gun before? Yes, sir. No, sir. I, I know you're kind I... of warm all of a sudden, so bring out the ice and we'll cool off. Yes, sir. And hurry it up or all of a sudden you'll be cold. Yes, sir. Stone cold. Yes, sir. All right, Rickard, let's go. Okay. You got the stuff? I've got the stuff. Okay, Barclay, but what took you so long? I wanted to do the job right. Gave the clerk a build-up. Build-up, build-up. You got a gun, haven't you? What more build-up you got to have? Trouble with this profession, Rickard. Not enough imagination. You walk in with a gun, the clerk sees it's a hold-up, and right from the start, it's him against you. But with me... With you, it's talk, 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 talk all the time. Change of pace. That's the secret, pal. Believe me, change of pace. Keep them guessing. By the time... How much did you get? A hat for rings, bracelets, necklaces, 30, 40 grand worth at least. Okay, we lay low a couple of days and then unload. I'll unload. Uh, how's that? Let me handle the fence. The old change of pace ought to be good for an extra 10 grand. Why, I... Okay, Barclay, you unload. I know you stay my way. I don't. But how else can I shut you up? Hi, Angel Sweet, light of my life. Oh, come here, Shirley. Hey, what's the matter? You call that a kiss? Where's the voltage? It's just that... I know, I know, you're tired. Well, I've got a little surprise for you, baby. It'll pep you up. Here, take a squint at this. An engagement ring. Uh-huh, like I promised. Look at the size of that sparkle. That's what I think of you, Shirley. You rate the best. Where did you get it? Where did I get it? I bought it. I'm in the chip, sugar. It swung a big deal. With the president of the Midwestern Railroad? Ah, uh-huh, that's right. I told you. You told me a lot of things. But I can read, bud. What's that supposed to mean? Just that there's an item on the society page that the president of the Midwestern Railroad happens to be away on a yachting trip. Ah, uh, sure, sure. I know that, sugar. I've been contacting him by radio. In that case, you ought to be able to tell me where this yachting trip is. Sure, sure. All right, go ahead. Where is it? Newport? Bermuda. Gulf of Mexico, maybe? What is this, the third degree? Bud, you've asked me to marry you. I've got a right to know something about you. I've, I'm tired of these big stories. Now I want the truth. Look, sir, there's some things you can't explain. Why? Well, well, look, it's like this. A terrific merger's on the fire, see? But terrific. If word gets out about it, even a hint, it'll get the so- stock market on its ear, see? No. I don't see why you Just can't... Just sit uh... tight, sir. Huh? In a couple of days, it'll all be settled, and I'll collect my commission. You'll see big dough. 30, 40,000 bucks on the first installment. And then we can make oh, plans. Oh, stop it, Bud. If you won't trust me, then... Like you'll trust me? Well, give me some reason. I'm getting tired of fairy tales. 
But did you ever happen to think, Sugar, maybe I'm getting tired of your nagging? I'm on the way up. You don't want to come along? Okay. Just remember you had your chance. Maybe I did. But I've heard it's not always healthy to take chances. Hello. Michael Waring? That's all right. You're a private detective, the one they call the Falcon? Mm Mm-hmm. Are you very expensive? Depends. On what? What you call expensive. And uh, what you want me to do. Come in, let's talk it over. All right. Well, you might as well sit down, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. And tell me your name. Gloria Page. And why you want a detective? I'm engaged to be married. Congratulations. I'm not sure they're in order. That's what I want you to find out. Well, just a second, Gloria. I don't go in for petty snooping if you're just trying to find out whether your boyfriend is stepping out on you. No, Mr. Waring, I'm not concerned about other women. Mm -hmm. All right, then. What I want to know is, what does he do for a living? Didn't he tell you? (laughs) Yes, a number of things. But you don't believe him? I did until yesterday. They're too fantastic. All about big business deals, but he won't give me any details. It's all so secretive, I can't help wondering if maybe he's mixed up in something illegal. Otherwise, why would he try to keep things from me? I don't know. Well, what will it cost to have you investigate? Quite a lot, but I'll give you some advice for nothing. What's that? Forget him. I can't. As long as you have such serious doubts about Just him. Just the same, I... I love him. Well, then, what are you doing here? Hoping you'll prove my doubts are wrong. And if they aren't? I don't know, Mr. Wynn. You're just asking for heartache, Gloria. Well, it's my heart and my money. So how much do you want for a retainer? Hello, Tenez. My wedding. What brings you here, wedding? You only hang around and buy it when you're looking for something. I like television. Yes. Hmm. You shouldn't have such a suspicious nature, Tenez. Bad for your digestion. I don't like coppers, and I don't like private dick. Well, every man to his taste. You seen Barkley lately? Who? Bud Barkley. I don't know Barkley. I haven't seen him. I don't know anybody. I don't know anything. Funny. I was told you're a pretty good friend of Barkley. Who told you? Oh, I've been getting around. In fact, Barkley himself tells me you were on a little job with him the other day. That's a lie. Sure. I was never on a job with Barkley in my life. If it was anybody, it was Rickard. He's the only one on Barkley's feet. I thought you didn't know Barkley. Uh, so I know him. So oh, thanks. For what? For some very pleasant conversation. And now, can I buy you a drink? Taxi. Just a second, Barkley. Uh, I'll be looking for you. Oh, hello, Tanez. Sorry I can't stop now. I've got a date. The driver will wait for you. Yeah, but I'm late. So you'll be late, Eric. Cut it out. That's a clean shirt. Just answer me one question, then I'll let you go. What's the devil beating you? How come you saw wearing what you did about me? What are you talking about? You saw wearing... Wearing? Who's wearing? Mike wearing the falcon. Are you crazy, Tanez? I don't even know where. He says you do. Well, I... But, driver, you better go on. I'll take another cab. I just, what does Waring say I told him? He says you told him I pulled a job with you. What? That's what he said, Buckley. So you blew your top and started yapping about me, is that it? Well, it made me sore. So you popped off. I didn't say much. Why, you dumb jerk, don't you see Waring was just trying to trap you into spilling on me? I didn't spill. Well, at least you didn't know about the Holloway job. I wonder. Holloway job? Uh, look, look, and there's, uh, you got any idea what Waring's angle is? Holloway job. That was that jewelry hall. Now, listen, Tornez. So you're the boy who pulled that one, huh? You were Rickard. Oh, you didn't hear me right. I heard you very right. And you know something, Barkley? I think wearing would be kind of interested to hear about it, too. I don't start getting ideas. I got him already. Well, go ahead, Barkley. We won't discuss it here. You don't want to keep your dates waiting. But I got a hunch you and me are going to do business. Hello, Sticker. Sorry I'm late. Well, but I'm afraid from now on it's better never than late. 
Are you still on that kick? I know how things stand now. That's why I asked you over. And I thought maybe you'd come to your senses. I have. We're through, but. Now, look, sugar, a lot of things have gone wrong today. I don't want to have trouble with you, too. I have big business deals coming big up. Big I... business. With crooks like Greg Rickard and Lou Turnett. Who's been talking? Nobody. I had to know the truth, but I had to. So? So I hired a detective. You what? Who are you? So you're the one who hired Waring. Yes. You won't be satisfied until I do a stretch, will you? No, but I don't want to cause you any trouble. Luck's like. I don't. Now that I found out what I wanted to know, I've called off Mike. Oh, it's Mike. Mr. Waring, what's the difference? Anyway, I've called him off. Thanks. What makes you sure he'll stay off? He isn't interested in you, but he's found out who your friends are. That's all I wanted to know. Now you'd better go. Oh, sure. Sure, get out of here. But you're just dirt and no good crook. Go on, why don't you tell me off? Tell me what you really think of me. Get out, bud. Oh, so now I'm not even worth talking to. I just get out. All right, I'll get out. But before I do, here's something for you to remember me for. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, sugar. I, I don't know what's the matter with you. You're, you're right. I'm no good for anything. You're all right, baby. Huh? Just get out of here, boy. Get out! <laughs> this afternoon, brushed right by me without speaking. Hmm? When was that? At Barclays. What? I wasn't at Barclays this afternoon. Funny. I could swear it was you. That's a lie. Oh, I get so excited, Bob. So I thought I saw you. Is there something to make you blow a gasket? No, I just... Well, I wasn't there. Okay, my mistake. You see, I was going up to see Barclay, and just as I started the building, this character rushes out. And like I say, he's a dead ringer for you. So I start to say hello, but you... Uh, he... Uh, don't stop. So I ring Barclay's bell and no answer. When I try the door and it's not locked, I go in. And what do you think I find? I don't know. Don't you, Rika? I told you I don't. I wasn't there. Okay. I remember that. When the law asks me, I'll tell them it wasn't you that I saw, Ricard. It was just somebody who happens to look exactly like you. Now, wait a minute. Well, I have to tell them something, eh? Because inside Barclay's apartment, I see how come that character who rushes out is in such a hurry, he don't even notice me. Are you trying to say... Yes, Rachel, you guessed it. I find Barclay lying on the sofa, and he don't even so much as say hello, which I can't blame him, eh? Seeing as how he just happens to be sort of... Uh, Kind of uh, very dead. Tomorrow, throughout our nation, Americans who appreciate the right to rule themselves will go to the polls and cast their ballots to elect their leaders. The right to vote is the very cornerstone of our American heritage of freedom. When you vote, vote as you please, as your conscience dictates, but vote. For freedom is everybody's job. And if you vote, you're letting America down. Now back to the adventures of the Falcon. A few hours have passed since the murder of Bud Barclay. The story has hit the newsstands and found an interested reader in Mike Waring, who is now calling on his ex-client, Gloria Pace. You seen the paper, Gloria? Yes. Well? Well, what? You hire me to check on Barkley. I do. And my report is hardly in when he winds up dead. I can't help wondering if there's a connection. Is there? If you mean did I kill him? No. You saw him this afternoon? Yes. And had a fight? What makes you say that? Look in the mirror. I told him we were through. He didn't like it. He uh, didn't like kind of rough. He was furious when he found out that I'd hired you. Oh, you told him that? Yes. So he slapped you around. 
Do you have an alibi for the murder, Tom? I don't know. I guess not. I was here alone after he left. Well, that's not going to sound so good to the police when they learn about your fight with Bartley. Do they have to know? You were his girl. They're sure to be around with questions. What'll I do? That's up to you. You told me you loved Bartley. I thought I did. Thought? Well, after this afternoon... Yeah, I see what you mean. You warned me there'd be heartache. There was when you told me he was friendly. And after the way he acted, it's all over. <laughs> you heal fast. You think I killed him? I didn't say that. Believe me, Mike, I'm sorry he's dead. I was shocked when I read about it. Mm-hmm. You don't believe me. Well, that's all right, Gloria. It's not me you have to convince. It's the police. <laughs> Yes? Hello. My name's Michael Waring. I'd like to talk to you. What about? Murder. You're Greg Rickard, aren't you? Am I? Well, this is his apartment, and you're in it, so it seems like a reasonable assumption. Oh, that's what I call a detective. <laughs> okay, I'm Rickard. Now, where do we go from here? Inside. It's more comfortable. All right, Waring. I'm glad you're not going to be difficult. That remains to be seen. What do you want? I understand you and Bud Barkley were pals. How come you understand that? In my business, a fellow asks questions. But he doesn't always get the right answer. Well, suppose you give me an answer then. Was Barkley a pal of yours? I knew him. When's the last time you saw him? A couple of days ago. Not today? Not today. Where were you this afternoon? Right here. All afternoon? All afternoon. Suppose I were to tell you I tried to phone you and got no answer. Then I'd say I was in the shower and didn't hear the phone. For over an hour? I kept trying. I was. Very dirty. Oh, you can do better than that, Rickard. Oh, I was taking a nap with the radio playing. That's better, huh? But at least now I know you were lying. So are you. Anyhow, you haven't put me at Barclays, if that's what you're trying to do. Give me time. How come you're trying to nail me for the job anyway? Just because I knew Barclays? Well, I have to start somewhere. You know any better suggestions? Yeah, there are plenty just as good. Anybody else who knew Barclays? Girl, for instance. Gloria? Mm hmm. Do you know any reason why she should have wanted to kill Barker? You know any reason why I should have? I'm working on it. But as long as we're playing the field just now, who else should we consider? Lou Ternez? Hmm? No. No, why do you say that? Why not? He knew Barkley too, didn't he? Believe me, Waring, it wasn't Ternez. What makes you so sure? All right, I'm not sure. Only I don't think it was Ternez. It's not like him. Funny you should be so anxious to protect him. I'm not trying to protect him. You think it's Ternez? Okay. I don't think it's Ternez. Yes. From the way you've been acting, I may get around to it. At any rate, it's an angle worth checking. Thanks, Rickard. Hello, Trinez. Some people can't take a hint. Look, Wedding, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't like people in your racket. I don't like you. Well, why should I let a little thing like that stop me when we have so much in common? Like what? Like you don't like me, I don't like you. That could be the basis for a beautiful friendship. Are you going to get out of here? Nope. Then I will. What do you know about the Barkley murder, Tenez? Get out, Redding. Sit down. Let go, Redding. I... Sit down. I want to talk to you. Now, look, Redding, I don't like... Is there any reason why Rickard should want to frame you for the murder? What? Did he? <laughs> Ah, no, you don't, Wedding. No, I don't what? You tell me Rickard is trying to frame me. That's supposed to set me off on Rickard. Sorry. I don't want to play. I didn't say Rickard tried to frame you. Uh -huh. I was just wondering. Uh -huh. He tried to keep you out of this. Maybe he was really protecting you. Or maybe he just thought that would make me suspicious. Well, you'll have to figure it out for yourself. Now, look, Sorry, I'm... Wedding. I told you I'm not going to help you. Go on back to the babe and tell her you drew a blank. Babe? Gloria Page. Where'd you get the idea I'm working for her? Barkley. Was she wrong? No. I was working for her, but that was before the murder. Now I'm strictly on my own. Where's the profit in that? You never can tell. Well, you won't get any dividends from me. Can't hurt to try. There's something between you and Rickard. I want to know what it is. Ask Rickard. I did. Now I'm asking you. Okay, you're just wasting your time, Wedding. I could beat it out of you. you... Could you? On the second thought, I guess I couldn't. 
Not as long as you have that busted beer mug in your hand. That's right, Wedding. And now, if you don't want it in your face, just get out of my way. Hello, Tennis. I've been expecting you to come in. Good. Have you uh, got the money, Rico? Well, that's what I call coming right to the point. This is not a social call, Rico. Have you got it? Naturally. Good. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe I'm letting you off too easy. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. You don't want me to talk to the police about what happened this afternoon. But the police aren't the only ones interested. Waring? Yeah. He's in it, too. So you tell him. All he can do with it is turn it over to the police. Maybe I could make a deal. He might pay more for my information than you've offered for silence. Why aren't you asking? I prefer to do business with you. But I think you'd better sweeten the kitty. <laughs> <laughs> What's the joke? I've been doing some thinking, too, Tenez. I've been thinking only a sucker pays blackmail, but that once he starts, there's no stopping. Sometimes you don't have any choice. Yeah, that's right. But this gun gives me a choice. Hey, wait a minute. Don't, don't worry, worry Turner. I won't. Not here. It looks like a nice night for a drive. So, let's go, shall we? <laughs> Turn right at the next corner and stop when you get to the door. Look, Stop. Rickard, I, I'll swear you weren't at Barker today. I'll swear... You won't swear anything with a gun looking your way. You'll sing a different song if I give you a chance, and I do mean sing. No, I'm okay, saying... Okay, Turner, here's where we stop. But I'm telling I you... I said to... stop. Now, you know... Rickard, if you'd only... Get out. <laughs> now start walking. Straight ahead. Go on. I'll be right behind you. Break her down. I'll do anything you say, only, only give me a break. Keep on walking out to the end of the pier. You didn't kill Barkley. I can prove it. Give me a chance. Look, look, let's, let's talk it over, huh? You, you didn't kill him. I'll swear to it. Anything, only... Okay. Don't... Now, stop. Please, Rick, I... Oh! After you've cast your vote for your favorite candidates in tomorrow's election, you'll want to be among the first to know who the winners are. So tune to Mutual tomorrow night. For Mutual and the station to which you're now listening is your best bet for fast, accurate, complete election returns. Yes, for radio's clearest, easiest to understand, and most exciting election returns, it's Mutual on election night. Now back to the adventures of the Falcon. Twelve hours have passed since Rickard switched from buying silence to gunning for it. Now he's in his room, packing, when there's a knock at the door. Come in. You can take those back. Oh, you wear it. Mm-hmm. Who'd you expect? A moving man for that trunk? Look, Waring, I don't have time Don't to... be so sure. You'll probably get plenty of time. What's that supposed to mean? Just that when I read that Tenez was fished out of the river with a slug in him, I thought of you. When it said he was still alive, I had a hunch you'd be preparing to clear out before Ternez recovered enough to talk. All right, I'm moving. That doesn't prove anything. But Ternez is talking, Will. Next time you toss a pal in the drink, you better make sure he stopped breathing for You can't prove anything on and me. And you don't intend to wait until I can, is that it? I don't intend to wait because I have other plans and you're not stopping me. No, no. but maybe the law will. May I use your phone? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, don't be like that. I'll give you a nickel. Put down that phone. Oh, sorry, pal. Put down that phone. Are you... I was waiting for you to reach for your gun. Now I'll take it. Now you can get back to your packing, Rickard. You're going for a trip, all right. But it's not the one you planned. Hello, Tunez. The doctor said I could come in for a minute. Hello, Eddie. How are you feeling? All right. I'll tell you come in. You can turn that off now, Tremaine. We're on the same team. Would you state evidence against Rickard? Yeah, 
The police tell me you've not only tabbed Rickard for plugging you, but for doing the job on Barkley, too. Yeah. That's why he wanted to finish me. Because I saw him coming out of Barkley right after the murder. What were you doing at Barkley? He called me yesterday afternoon. Morning, but he wanted to see me. What about? He didn't say. When I got to his place, he was there. Oh, hmm. Well, thanks, Janez. Looks like we've pretty well taken care of Mr. Rickard. We've got him for attempted murder on you, and now that he's in so deep anyway, he's admitted pulling some robberies with Barkley. Uh, the only thing he won't admit is Barkley's murder. But with your testimony, I think we'll clinch that, too. Uh-huh. Only not against Rickard. What? No, Tenez. That little job was your handiwork. What? So hurry up and get well, because you've got to face a murder trial, and if you're any sort of a man, you won't want to take it lying down. <laughs> So you see, Gloria, when Ternez found out that Barkley and Ricker had worked the jewelry job, he went up to Barkley to ask for blackmail. And when Barkley didn't want to pay as much as Ternez demanded, Ternez killed him and took everything he had. Mm-hmm. And then, just as he was leaving, he saw Rickard go into Barkley's. He knew Rickard wouldn't want it known that he was at the scene so near the time of the murder, so Ternez tried to blackmail him. You see, Ternez wasn't satisfied with just Barkley's half of the split. He wanted the whole take. So he blackmailed Rickard for a murder he committed himself? Yeah. Talk about gall, huh? Well, tell me, Mike, how did you know Ternez was the murderer? Well, oh, simple. Ternez claimed the last time he spoke to Barkley was yesterday morning. He said when he arrived at Barkley's yesterday afternoon, Barkley was already dead. Mm-hmm. But Ternez knew I was working for you. When I asked him how he knew, he said Barkley told him. Yes. Well, don't you see? Barkley didn't know that until you told him yesterday afternoon. Of course. So that meant Ternez was lying. He did see Barkley yesterday afternoon, but he arrived before the murder, not after it, and killed Barkley in order to rob him. Well, that clears that up, then. Now, there's just one other thing. What's that? I only hired you to check on Barkley, but you kept right after his murder until you solved that. Why? What did you hope to gain? It's a beautiful night, Gloria. Mm Mm-hmm. There's a beautiful moon. Mm Mm-hmm. And a beautiful girl. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Thank you. But uh, until the murder was cleared up, you were a suspect. You know something, Gloria? I was never much good at kissing through a wire screen. Murder doesn't fit the frame. Murder doesn't fit the frame. That's the title of next week's adventure of the Falcon when Mike Waring learns that if you know the name of a murderer... You'd better spill that information before he spills your blood. So be sure to listen next week at the same time to another exciting adventure of the Falcon. The adventures of the Falcon are based on the famous character created by Drexel Drake, produced by Bernard L. Schubert, written tonight by Jerome Epstein, and directed by Richard Lewis. Music by Milton Kay. Les Tremaine was starred as the Falcon. Turnez was played by Joe DeSantis. This program came from New York... This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.